What are you doing, Bruno? Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. Spring is officially upon us. The wasps are buzzing, finding their homes, annoying me. It's so much fun. But everything is looking springy. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's okay. It's like we're in sync like the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Don't you love when I make that joke? It's like the haircut joke. It's like I've heard it like 10 million times or something. <laughs> I do it until do you're going to start saying it. Well, we've had Bruno out for his morning activities. Nala was out, has done her thing, we went ahead and fed everybody. And look, this is what this guy does on a full belly in the warm days. Nap time. Not the bird, Mr. Hercules. You the see birds are out because they slept outside. Yeah, them birds. They are now adult birds. That's what I'm going to call them. I know they're not technically 12 months old, whatever. But I think they're doing adult bird things, chasing bugs, laying eggs. In bum, fact, bum, bum. we may actually not want to be over here as they're walking around because if they know that we've spotted their nest. Nah, you know, a lot of you guys have commented that and a lot of you have said that and I do agree. And all of our research says that and we do try to keep our distance. And if we touch an egg, it's like if you touch an egg in a bird's nest, a lot of times mama just kicks it out the nest. So we're kind of trying to ease into it. Like we've told you, we have pretty abnormal guineas. They are coming over here right now because we're down here and because we're by the nest. Hi, bird birds. We got one scoping it out. She's like, is anybody watching me? Atta girl. So we're not going over there between the pallets. She is over the top of them right now. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they're down there. As you guys know, we've had a tough time finding the eggs. The boys are chasing each other. And so we've just randomly been finding them here and there and along the woods, all the places we kind of know are in their path throughout the day. Didn't you say you found one over in my irises? I did, well, Bruno helped me. Up by the oak tree? Yeah, Bruno went over there and sat down and I went over to hang out with them or see them and uh, there's an egg right there that's technically up on the other side of the shed that's the top of the tree right there and so it's just been uh, hey we're filming here Shh. got some talking goats today they want to be out grazing is what it is but we'll do that later when it cools off a little bit so we have been researching we have been keeping our eyes open and if you watched our short that shannon put out or if you're over on facebook and instagram i think it's all there too we found the honey hole Kyle found the honey hole. I found the honey hole and I was excited. Shannon, come here, come here. And so right where that bird is at, she's probably counting eggs or gonna maybe lay one. I don't know. I'm hoping she lays one. There's about, when we stumbled upon it, there were 10 eggs. And then we checked yesterday and she's pecking them. Hopefully not trying to move them. And when we checked yesterday, there were 13. Boy, what in the world? You guys are seeing this first. I, uh, we don't spy on them much. We have yet to see an egg come out of one of the birds. Well, and I've also been wondering if they make sounds whenever they lay eggs. You know, like chickens do. Oh, they you mean sounds. like... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it sounds like if an egg came out of me. I don't want to think about an egg coming out of you. Yeah, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. You're talking about their... Their, their call. If they make like a call or a song or whatever whenever yeah. they're laying. I still well, know. Well, the problem is they make 800,000 sounds per bird. It's true. There are a ton of different sounds that come out of these guys all throughout the day. So we're going to keep studying, but there are 13 eggs there. We're going to leave them alone for a while. And I want to see if, you know, we're probably 15-ish feet from them right now. And I want to see if they keep laying over there. I'd love to see one of them lay. That sounds so weird, but she's just checking the eggs. Well, and this one over to the right that's calling out is a female as well. So I think we have three females and four males, if I'm being honest. You think so? 
That one up front, Pearl, that we're looking at there, that might be a male. If you look at that hood on the top of his head, you see how pronounced and big it is. And those little, I can never remember what those little face flaps are called. I don't know what those are called. But they are also larger on the males. It's very hard to determine larger because they're just, they're such a small bird that you really got to get close to them. And we do, but uh, then remembering who's male and who's female because they all look pretty much spot on identical from a distance. It's tough. So we just don't even try to figure it out when we find the eggs. <laughs> so yeah, it's spring for the birds too. This is fantastic. This is one of my favorite times of year. I love this time of year. Oh look, Gray's in jail. <laughs> what are you doing, silly bird? You know what? He's probably hiding from the other one that was chasing him around is. all the time. Okay, so I was just studying the birds a little bit and all the females are down there by the pallets together and then the males kind of came up this way towards the shed. I really think we have four males, three females, and it's like the, the males go off and make sounds in a different area while the females are laying so that they have their privacy or maybe it's to distract predators. I don't really know, but I'm really fascinated watching these things. Yeah, they've def there is definitely a herd mentality to that bird herd. Oh yeah. The bird army. Bird army. And they, uh, they watch each other's backs, they tattle when there's something close or whatever. They are still not all going into the run at night. So we'll come up here. I think last night there were two birds in, yeah, two. five birds out. We and they were spread out in different trees. Yeah, they've, they've actually been going back here where they were always right there. Gray was in that tree and then the others were all back there. I came up, Shannon came up, flashlights, uh, freedom sticks, just to make sure there was no coyotes or raccoons getting after them and there weren't. So I think it's just the birds this time of year or maybe this phase in their life, this age that they are. Uh, and you read about it all the time. Yeah, my birds never go in my run or my shelter or whatever. They always stay up in the trees. We'll find out. They well, just do their own thing. They do. They're and very I, independent. And I think they like it because then in the morning, the moment they want to be out and grazing and looking for bugs and worms, because you know, that's what the early bird gets, they get to get after it. Problem is at about six o'clock this morning, one of them came down right outside the camper and wanted to let us know that she was out and about. All right, that's enough bird talk for the day. Well, for you guys, we'll talk we'll about talk it We'll talk about them later. <laughs> yeah. We have mentioned before that there is this country community that we did not know about whenever we lived in the city and had our previous lives that we've totally turned our backs to. And it's pulled through again. Our good friends Stan and Perry kind of hung out with them yesterday for a little bit. And long story short, there's a gentleman up the road. He's got a lot of land and he has one of the popular tree services around here that has i don't know how many trucks in their fleet but they are very large he has opened up some of his land for them to come and dump their mulchings so if they come and cut a limb down <laughs> something buzzed me it's very buggy so, so they come and if they've cut a tree down they mulch it up and they got to have somewhere to dump you can actually say hey i've got room you've got access you can come dump anytime and he's done that for years so Stan and Perry knew that we were working on our garden project and they asked the gentleman, say, hey, this is what they're doing down the road. We've met him before, kind of familiar with him. And long story short, he has offered to let us come and get some of his, it's, it's technically compost, compost right? Mm -hmm. Because compost. that mulch sits there and it just, it turns into dirt. And the longer it's there, the more it is dirt. Now, Shannon, you still, she's, she's the pro. I'm the I don't muscle. Know about pro. <laughs> I'm just going to help her get the stuff, but there's more to it than that. Nonetheless, it, he, it's a free gesture. It is so kind of all of them to think of us when they're, I, I don't know. We're very, very fortunate, very, very blessed. So the plan is, you guys remember this? This is your quiz. If you remember this and you know what we used it for, you've been paying close attention. And you've been with us a long time. A very long time. You know, one of the very first projects that we did out here. Well, that's not true. I can't say that for lumping them all together. But one of the first, like, you know, DIY, we're going to do this. That firewood rack right there. It's fancy, guys. I'm talking cinder blocks, two by fours. <laughs> well, that's it. But we wanted to get that rock pad. We knew from the beginning how important it was to have things level, blah, blah, blah but we didn't have a way to get the rock because we didn't have the dump truck, all that good stuff. We use this guy in the trailer. So it's gonna get used again. And we're gonna take that and the tractor up the road and get some of that compost. I'm so excited. <laughs>
Now we're not really in snake season yet, but uh, being turned over like this with some holes in it, this is a pretty good habitat for anything. Oh, well there's at least one thing living under here, or a thousand. Check that out. Oh my. That is an ant community.
I that's, cannot be more grateful for that, this. That is some amazing stuff. I mean, it, when I first started digging it, I almost thought it was dirt. We had to go around different sides of it because obviously the longer it's been out here, the more the stuff underneath has had time to decompose and turn into dirt. But man, I started getting this and I was like, oh crud, did I hit a, do they have a dirt pile under there? Nope. No, that's how good this is. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. I would say that's definitely the oldest stuff right there. Yeah. Which is, we just stayed right there. Not the gentleman we got the compost from, but the gentleman that lives up at the front of the property here, that's the gentleman that we got Mr. Bruno from. And so I stopped in with him for just a second and we have his okay to show Bruno's mom and his little sister. One of his sisters. One of his sisters. The only puppy he's got left that he's still willing to let go of, but uh, she looks a little bit different than Bruno. Yep. We'll take a sneak peek of them on our way out before we head back to Shady Acres. Hi, Pearl. Come here, Wish. Hi, pretty mama. Hi. Oh, guard dog on duty back there. Come here, sugar. So this is Bruno's mommy over here, and this is his little sister. <laughs> this Hi. is Pearl. Hi, She's Pearl. She's the sweetest girl. Yeah. So I believe she is Catahoula with a little bit of lab, which is why Bruno's sister, who's guarding back there, even though we just talked last night, and I pet you just a little bit ago, didn't I? This is Wishbone. You got a little dirt on you, Miss Wishbone. A little something. Yeah. Her legs are so much shorter than Bruno's. She's definitely got more of the lab head or, I don't know, honestly too, the pit in her. I don't know. It's so hard to tell at this age. Hi, Pearl. You're yeah. so pretty. <laughs> You're welcome. You're so wishbone pretty. Wishbone in the head. Yeah, I know. Do you smell Mr. Bruno? We'll, yep. bring, uh, we'll bring Bruno up before too long to meet with these guys. Hi, Wishbone. Hi, Sugar. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Sugar. Every time Wishbone walks behind her, smack. Yeah. You're so pretty. All right. Well, we're going to let you be. I'm going to get you all stirred up, even though we kind of already did. Yeah, no way. Trying to get a good glimpse on her. Yeah, there's no holding still. <laughs> oh, you tell it. <laughs> That guard sounds, dog on duty. Sounds oddly familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, she was a talking last night, had to get used to us, and she Hi, definitely baby. let us know what was up. Hi, baby. Oh, I know. Not pretty girl. We'll bring Bruno up for a play date. This is some pretty good stuff and a, I'm pretty excited about it. Are you a happy gardener? I'm a happy gardener. Princess and, wanted to come out, sorry. Hi princess. <laughs> and it was all free. That's yeah. like, you, it just doesn't get any better than that. And we are so, so grateful. It's not even something that we thought about. Mm -mm. And again, that country community, man, they, they thought of us and they all communicated before he even hit me up. And he's like, hey, got something for you, come yeah. on. So thank you guys, very, very blessed. Very, very much. I'll share veggies if I'm able to grow any with you. <laughs> <laughs> we've already, yeah, we've already signed off some eggs and things, so hopefully we can uh, grow some good stuff to eat and bring those up as well. Yeah. You're so cute, Nala. What this? I, I smells it. Are what? you checking it out? I can smell it. It's, it's foreign. It is foreign. Dad, would you put the ramp down so I can inspect it, please? <laughs> oh, Bruno would love to dig in this, wouldn't he? Yeah. So I have started working on filling all of my beds. I'm not gonna show it just yet because I wanna put that all together and have it in one video, but Kyle drove T-Post for me for my supports and I am getting super, super excited about gardening. I just, I still hope I'm successful, but we're getting there. I am gonna do the Hugel culture method. So cardboard, sticks, twigs, straw, compost, Dirt, dirt, all the things. Was that the right? Was that right? I, I think so. If I Google that and fact check you, did you get that right? It's pretty close. I'm so proud. We researched <laughs> very differently, and I said, "Babe, you just run with this one and tell me when you need me to move things, do things, build things." And yeah, honestly, I just woke up this morning. My abs are a little sore. My shoulders feeling a little bit. So the T post drive yesterday was my workout. Thank you. Amongst a lot of other, but I appreciate <laughs> it because that. I don't think I could have done that. Yeah, oh yeah, it's easy. Not in these rocks out here. 
Yeah. It's hard to watch it on TikTok and Instagram. Those guys can just drive them right in almost one handed. And then I hit one rock and it's like, boom, shank, start all over. Yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm complaining. It sounds like a complaint. You know what I was thinking about this morning? What's that? You know, we have been getting the goats out to graze every day, typically for at least an hour and typically before the evening time feeding, just because that way we can, you know, it's pretty Timing wise, it works out. It just works out. But they all come over here. All of them goats. The moment you put dirt, you put anything in here, you're going to have a problem. So I'm going to need fencing. Just as important as getting the garden done, I got to be thinking about going ahead and getting it electrified or fortified in some way, shape or form. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Speaking of getting the goats out to graze, we have been doing that daily and I got some footage of last night's grazing. We have gotten some comments about Herc being on a leash the whole time. And to be honest, he's not on a leash the whole time. Maybe the times that we film just so that we can kind of keep things calm and <laughs> under control. Not have to run off with the camera. Herc, where are you going? Yeah, yeah. But I have some footage last night of the goats grazing and just having a great time. Herc was off of his leash. It was a beautiful evening. So I do want to go ahead and show that to you guys. Spin action. Had one hook up there, the other one didn't even need. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three. And then another one right there, 10. We found them, bird birds. Come on. All the way in. 
So in videos, you see some scenarios where he's on a leash and blah, blah, blah. But guys, we're doing it every day. We're doing it sometimes multiple times a day and all yeah. of it is a part of his training because we're observing him and the difference in him now that Mr. Bruno's around. So we've got him back to, he, he's accepting us a little better even if we reek of Bruno. Uh, he gets a sniff on, comes up, checks out his spots and that's why it's nice to have that e-collar on him so mm -hmm. that he can do his rounds, pee and poo on all the stuff that Bruno's touched and cover the area. Uh, but man, he's in heaven when he's doing it. Speaking of which, I think Nala found some guinea poo. She's in heaven down there having a snack. They're so gross. Yeah. Well, this is exciting. This is progress. Yeah. Get that garden done. I'm ready to have some snacks out here when I'm at working. I'm super excited about it. Me too. Thanks for all your work. It's not done yet. I know, but you do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Progressively, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah. And again, thanks guys for the compost yeah. and the generosity. We are very, very fortunate. Very, very blessed. Yeah. Very blessed. All right, guys. Well, it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to be swatting all these wasps out here. Today's the day. They're coming in. I guarantee the scouts have given their reports and everybody's going to move in. But it's part of country life and it's quite all right. And it's going to be 80 degrees today, 80. so no complaints. Yeah. All right. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. We thank you guys for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. That's what you always do. Do your little while it's playing. <laughs> Spring is upon us. The it's wasp. It's turning green. Hang on, I wasn't. That's my bad. I was headed somewhere. Spring is upon us. <laughs> I should have said I didn't know if you were gonna. <laughs>